up you guys, Eddie at Fliptronics. I'm going to be showing you a cool trick for how you can add a home button to both the iPhone XS Max and iPhone XR. Alright, so if you miss having a home button, this is going to, you know, bring it back to life for you. And uh, I'm just going to test it out right here on the XS Max because I've already got it up. But like, let's say you're browsing around, um, you just have to literally just tap it and it will take you back to the home screen. Alright, so in order to make this all possible, you're obviously going to have to go into your settings. Now, as soon as you go into your settings, you want to go down to where it says general, and then you want to click on accessibility. All right, so as soon as we get in here, you need to scroll down a little bit more, and the feature that we need to turn on in here is called assistive touch. Um, so tap it to on, but you're not going to be done just yet. So anyways, we've got it up, um, and you're going to see some different options here. So you have a single tap option. What you want to do is make sure it's set to home, otherwise it won't work right. Uh, you can do a double tap option on here. I've actually got this set to screenshot. So you can actually change the actions you want for the, uh, you know, the button on here. And you can also move the button around a little bit. So like, let's say you want to move it to the left or the right here. So you've got left, you've got right, or you can put it down, you know, where the home button's supposed to be, right? So like I said, it's currently set to, uh, you know, take you back to the home screen when you tap it. But if you would do a double tap on it, it'll take a screenshot. So, I mean, you can set different features up for it. Um, let me see what else I had on here. So you can actually change uh, the opacity, which is gonna make it like darker or brighter. So check it out. If you wanna make the home button look darker, you can make it look completely dark. If you wanna make it look lighter, you can do that as well. Uh, but yeah, I mean, this is just like a really cool workaround for getting the home button back. And it's easy to set up. And uh, you know, it's been a while for me, you know, I. When I first started using the newer iPhones, you know, back when the iPhone 10 came out, I definitely missed the home button for a while. I was having withdrawals from being able to tap it, but, you know, I got over it after a while, and, uh, you know, if you want to bring it back to life, this is definitely a way you can do that. Uh, anyways, you guys, I would definitely appreciate if you hit the like and share on this. Thanks for watching it, and we will see you all later.